everyone, today I'm going to show you how I use puffy paint on the bottom of my slipper socks. So I'm going to actually take my son's slipper and use it as a guide. And what you'll need to do is shake the tube of your puffy paint. If you don't shake the tube, the, the paint won't get mixed up and it won't go on the slipper right. So gently squeeze the bottle. And what you wanna do is make sure your dots are kind of flattened. So when you're placing them on the slipper, just kind of press them down you can also make bigger dots if you'd like. Um, you can use a Q-tip to press it down. And I'm just kind of going around the edges. If you don't have another slipper, that is okay. Just place it how you want on the bottom of the sock. And again, the purpose of this is to avoid slipping on if you say you have hardwood floors or a slippery surface without carpet this is just an idea to make your sock less slippery As you can see, my dots aren't perfect, but they don't really need to be. You can do it big, small, however you want. I have a few small ones here to show you, a few big ones. And like I said, you can take a Q-tip if you want and place the ball that way, the little dot, place it that way. But I'm just using the tip of the paint and that seems to be working out okay for me. So just continue doing that where you want. And after, on the bottle, it says to let dry for four hours. I recommend leaving them dry overnight. So I'm gonna come back in the video after I've let my slipper socks sit overnight with the puffy paint on, and I will show you what it looks like. I bought this puffy paint at Michael's and it wasn't even $2. I think it may have been like $1.50. And they do have different colors so you don't have to get black. And it's made by Tulip and it's Tulip Puffy Paint. So again, I will come back and show you what it looks like after sitting overnight. Okay, my slipper sock has set overnight. The puffy paint is dry. This is, see it's not rubbing off and it creates a rough surface. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you'd like, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you at the next video.